Ireland semi-final number three. By the end of tonight, two more acts will win a place in this year's final. Next is a singer whose day job is working in the bar at the Lowry Theatre in Manchester. He can deliver charm, talent and a warm Pinot Grigio for the interval. It's Rob King. My name's Rob, I'm 28 years old and I'm from Manchester. I've lived here my whole life. I love the city, it might always be raining, but it's home. I work behind the bar at the Lowry Theatre. What are you here to see tonight? I pull pints, I make coffees, I clean. There you go, enjoy the show. I do love working in the theatre. It's a real buzz before a show starts. But there is definitely a bit of jealousy once the theatre door closed and I've just wished that I was on the other side. My dream has always been to sing. I've sat through three and a half years of Britain's Got Talent auditions up at the Lowry and always thought, should I do it? And this was the first time I'd really felt confident enough to take a risk. Finally tonight, it's my chance. This really is going to be one of the biggest moments of my life. There are so many amazing theatres in Manchester. My whole life, I've dreamed about it being my name, Rob King in lights, my face on the billboards, my name on the tickets, and my sold-out performance. That's what I really, really want. for you. You're one of these people, you know, you've paid your dues, you've worked hard to be on that stage. I can't imagine what it feels like for you being out front. It was a solid performance. You delivered vocally. I didn't feel the emotion in the song, but it's not a negative thing, because I still feel like you projected it. <laughs> it is what it is. Music is subjective. I just didn't feel emotionally moved, but I was so impressed with how you held yourself and you allowed the song to build. And towards the end, so much noise going on, it was really... Powerful, so well done, my darling. Yeah, it was a really confident, professional performance. I agree with Alicia. I think it lacked a little bit of emotion, but I think the staging and the production and how you delivered it was absolutely on point. It was a really solid audition. Well done. Yeah, and you know what, Rob? Uh, your story is a, is a great real story for us. You know, the guy who works in the theatre but wants to be on the stage. The fact you got it is amazing, by the way. And I loved your first audition. I'm going to be honest with you, the first half of that song, I literally turned around to Amanda and I'm thinking, why the hell did you choose that song? It's so boring. 
I'd heard it so many times. To, to your credit, the second half was much better. But, you know, my frustration is, I like to see and hear something I've never heard before. I've seen and heard that a lot. So I'm disappointed with your, <laughs> with your song choice, you know, because I really think you're better than this. I do. I hate that song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens to be the hit song from the biggest musical of all time, so I think <laughs> it's a pretty fair choice. And Rob, I'll have half a shandy and a bag of nuts. Is a sentence I don't think you're going to be hearing anymore oh. because you deserve to be on that stage. Well done. Thank you very much, judges. Had a mix from the judges there. How was it for you, Rob? Uh, incredible. Um, it's, just, it's an amazing venue and, you know, to come literally from being behind the bar every single day, seven days a week. I mean, I do go four or five weeks without days off. To do this full time is what I really want to do. Um, so that was, this was a big moment for Well, me. you seem You're very at home up here. And you didn't leave anything behind, it was all there. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Steve was set. And if you think Rob should be in the final, just follow the instructions on screen, but not until the last act has done their thing. One more time. Rob King, everybody. Right, time for a break, but when we come back, we've got the dance crew who are full of surprises, KME. And we've got comedy and magic from John Archer. See you for that in a few minutes.